Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Diablo 4. I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault. We're going to try out a Nightmare Dungeon now that we're in World Tier 4 with our seasonal character here. Um, I'm going to admit World Tier 4 has been a bit of a struggle for me. Uh, I've been trying to acquire new gear and, you know, upgrade it and all that. But it has been a bit of a struggle, so I'm hoping we can handle level 75 creatures, which is the norm for world tier four um out in the wild but with all the affixes and all that it's not going to be easy now i was looking through uh, this seems to be one of the least horrifying nightmare dungeons so that's the one we're going to go for the hoarfrost demise let's cue up the music and we'll get right to it heading in not sure what the creatures are in this one so we're going to look at our different uh, elixirs and try to choose something that's kind of generic that may help us out we don't have a lot of choices dodge eh eh cooldown evade well they are cold enchanted so we'll do a cold resist why not let's see how this works out we're probably going to get punked but you never know. We have to destroy three skeletal constructs. I know that can be a challenging situation when all the uh, elites spawn around them. So we're just going to kind of take it easy here a little bit. And all right, the first battle was successful. See what the rest of this brings us now, right? Yeah, you only get four revives in a nightmare dungeon, so you gotta be real careful. If you burn those up too early, and you make it to the final boss and you get punked, and you're done. You're not getting that dungeon. And I'd really like to get through this. And work on upgrading one of my uh, sigils a little bit. I still got to get a sigil up to level 20. And I know I got a ways to go on that. Alright, this isn't too horrible yet. Lots of goodies. Nothing great, but got a malignant heart there. Let's check this out. We stay focused on him. Wow. Look at that, man. Just completely toasted in one shot. That's what's frustrating right there. Yeah, this character is definitely not built to take a beating. Oof. So now we're at a real disadvantage because we need to get our little skeleton army back. So we're going to kind of get as many as we can. I don't know where that malignant guy went. I don't know. Do we miss out on him? I wonder if he despawned because we died. We got our full army of skeletons back, which is a good thing. He spawned in right over here. I don't know if he ran this direction. Doesn't look that way, does it? I don't think we might be hosed on that malignant heart. That kind of sucks. I mean, regardless, you know... This is the way to go because of the uh, extra XP you get from monsters in Nightmare Dungeons. Even if you don't finish 
the Nightmare Dungeon, you're going to end up with a lot more XP than you would out in the real world. We're doing regular dungeons and all that, although regular dungeons, you know, I still got to do a bunch of them for aspects and all that, so it's kind of... I know you could accidentally, you know, get them through doing these dungeons. You can sometimes... Getting up to one of those constructs, yeah. Let's see if we can hammer it home. Um, you know, if one of these nightmare dungeons we haven't finished yet is a regular dungeon, it'll double dip and count for us, which is kind of nice. There's our elite. Shock lance going on, which is never fun, but it's definitely not the worst um, ability we can face off against, so that's good. does make you jump around a little bit. And... Alright. Yeah, no time to relax, huh? Holy crap. I do like that corpse tendril. Okay. Let's catch our breath for a second. Fortunately, we're keeping our skeletons pretty loaded up. Haha, <laughs> no, no, no. Gotta get this guy smoked. Come on. We got a couple more back there. That's not good. He's almost done, though. Oh, got one more. All right, we're finished up. Fully healed, plenty of potions. We move on. We got one death so far, so... Our armor has taken a little bit of a hit. We may run back to town right before um, the final fight, if there is one. And just tweak our armor, you know. Better to be... Better to be fully prepared than not. Here we go. There's a construct. Alright, we almost got it. And now we're down to the elite guy. Looks like, what do we got? Another shock lance this time. Just the little energy balls. there. Almost got him. And we're done. Get these guys cleaned up over here a little bit. Okay. I guess we're heading that direction next. But first, let's, we're going to start working our way over to this. Definitely going to toughen our golem up by quite a bit. 40% more damage and 40% more life. Yeah, that's pretty big. Alright, we got... Do some corpse explosions. That'll thin the ranks a little bit. more. Hey, this guy, we gotta get him down. I thought I was out of range of that. 
All right, so all three of those are down. We got to go to the flesh cavern now. <laughs> that sounds like a fun place. Yeah, and I got a filthy sense of humor. Oh! Yeah, vulnerable. Boy, did that hurt. Thought we were going to kill him before he could hit us. That was stupid for me. Oh, I like this one. Everybody die. Oh, man. I think we can go right to the flesh cavern now. Unfortunately, this is going to run out before we get in there, really. Maybe get to use it a little bit. Alright, well. It started off a little on him. Yeah, he's not giving us too much trouble. He's got to stay out of his poison, man. That's what really hurts. And we're done. Alright, so we did a pretty good haul that time around. We'll go ahead and upgrade our glyph a little bit. Yeah, see, look, we got a long way to go before we hit level 20. We need to start pushing some higher level uh, nightmare dungeons, but... This one wasn't too, too bad overall. Got a couple spots we didn't hit up. But again, I'm not looking to do everything in the dungeon. I want to get through it so I can get out of it, basically. All right, we'll head back to town. See, so yeah, I don't feel so bad about the character now. I mean, he can handle, her, he can handle himself in a dungeon four levels above him. Okay, there's a five. Five levels above him, that's not too shabby. Considering the build isn't that great, and I'm really lacking in ancestral gear. I got two pieces, three pieces, four. I mean, look at my rings. They're just basic legendaries. I really need to upgrade. Yeah, definitely need to upgrade. All right, guys, so thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Let me know what you're thinking of Diablo 4 Season of the Malignant down below in the comments. I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.